I started off, uh, this is going to be the base, um, I started off with some 3 quarter inch um, strips that I've done and all I'm going to do is put it four wide so I can either put a hook on the front or I can throw it or do both you know but I think 3 quarter inch is just a bit too not enough so I've done one inch and again I'm just going to put it four wide um, just glue all those together and that does feel a hell of a lot better so I'm going to do the base it's going to be uh, 24 mil wide by one inch high <laughs> I'm mixing it all up here but I don't know how wide six mil is so I'm going to sandwich those together like that and then I can put it on or shape it to size and then cover it and then glue it on change of plan slightly uh, this is now, what is it, one, two, three, four, five, six wide. So that's 24 mil wide and it's a solid piece, quite strong. Uh, the reason why I've done it that wide is because I'm going to put a tow hook on it. Um, this is the design from Mark Q, which I'll leave a link to his uh, YouTube channel and also the design for this tow hook. So that's going to go in there. So what happens is um, you fold it down, uh, you put your hook on it and then when it comes in for landing it just folds flat so you don't get any um, drag off it. So that's going to go round about there, maybe, I don't know. I have to find out where the CG is and then I'll uh, put it there. So I'm going to embed that in there. Ay, ay, ay. I've just cleaned this off, <laughs> cleaned it off with um, isopropyl alcohol. The good thing about isopropyl alcohol is you find out exactly where all the tiny little cuts are. <laughs> anyway, that's done. That'll fold out like that and the hook goes on there and then it'll fold flat. So I've got to cover that now. Um, and then that's the bottom piece done, I hope. What's next? Done the bottom of the fuselage, which isn't perfect, but you know, it'll have to do. That folds out like that, very small hook. That's all I need because if you imagine the ramp being uh, round about like that, then that thing has got to hold the hook. Now, if that actually pulls out any further, the hook falls off it. So that's why that's at a very shallow angle like that. So what I've got to do now is attach it. Oh, incidentally, I'll put a piece of uh, reinforced um, packing tape under there. Some of this stuff. I've just put a line of that across there just to protect it a bit more. So that is... It's quite strong, really, for what it is. <laughs> Although it's very, very light. So there's that. So I'm going to go and attach it now. This is the underside. Uh, I don't know if the colour's faded on this thing, but you can't. I can't even tell you how nice this colour is. It's beautiful. Anyway, this is the underside. Uh, there's a bit of a bubble. Where is it? There's a crease there. Which you can't really see. That's where the servos are. So what I'm going to do now is line that up somewhere. I've got to line it up and then I'll I'll just draw a line around there and then I'll get my knife and I'll cut the piece out for this to actually attach to it. So that's that. I don't know if I'm going to do this any other colours actually. I think I might just leave it all purple because it looks nice. I've decided I'm adding two uh, carbon spars here um, because this thing is so uh, narrow on the end, so shallow should I say, uh, what I was going to do is have some reinforcement on the back somewhere so as when that, because uh, the motor is going to be sitting on there, I didn't want any torque, what do you call it now, you know what I mean? 
because that's not going to be very strong there at all because it's only the top um, canopy that's actually going to be on it. So I decided I'm going to put two spars there and that's going to cover over there and then the motor mount is going to be um, of two holes for it to fit under there. You know what I mean? I hope so. So I'll glue those in and then I'll glue that on. And then that's the bottom done. That's glued on now, which is absolutely solid. I've just used um, epoxy on that. So, and that, uh, which is the launch hook, comes out. Oh, which will pop back in. Now this thing itself, I, I, I didn't build it for speed, but it looks like it's going to go like stink. So, next thing I'm going to do is uh, put the, possibly I think, put the top canopy on. So that can go on the top, obviously. Um, and then I can fit the motor on the back. I don't know yet. Not decided. I've designed this motor mount. Um, obviously, the motor goes on there. These bits go underneath. Uh, that's for the wires to go through there. And these bits are for the carbon rods that I put on the back, like this. This isn't attached yet, so so that simply slots in. like that and then when all this is assembled that will be glued into place like that and underneath if I can show you without this falling apart underneath it sits on there like that well it will do anyway and that's to stop any any torsion that's going to come off the motor, hopefully anyway. That's the theory. And the practice is something completely bloody different, isn't it? So, I'm not gluing this on yet, purely because I want to put all the electronics and everything else in it. But yeah, that's, that's basically how that works. And then that'll be, um, no, it won't be removable, it'll be glued on, but I'll be able to get the motors off, motor off easy enough. So that's that bit. Here's the rough layout of how I'm going to put the, um, the electronics, uh, the antenna on the back, which is a coil-loaded um, UHF dipole, available from Simon, link in the, descri uh, in the description. Uh, brilliant piece of the kit, and I don't know how they work yet, but they look good because you don't need a lot of it sticking out the bottom and that is going to sit in the bottom uh, part of the fuselage. ESC obviously is it going to have to go there, I can't put it anywhere else whatsoever. Flight controller and easy UHF nano. Um, the only problem I've got is where the hell I'm going to put the GPS because they're in enough room. Because that is going to go on the front that's going to be uh, buried in the front there somewhere uh, with just that sticking out the top, that's the active element so I don't know where I'm going to put it, I may have to actually put it in the canopy um, which I didn't want to do but I don't know, there's nowhere else I can put it and I don't know how I'm going to do the canopy yet, whether it's good, which way, where it's going to attach, how it's going to attach, and I don't know. Don't know. But yeah, it's coming on. These are the only bits I've got to do now, is mount, mount the electronics. Obviously find somewhere to put the GPS. And then glue it all together. So I think that's probably it for part, what are we on now, part three. And so in part four, 
hopefully I should be able to get the tail um, pieces on and also get all this put together and, and, and completed ready for the spring. This is a rough, um, it's a rough layout of um, So that's it for part three or four. What part of? Oh, I don't know what part I'm on now. Is it part three? I've done part three. No, this is part three. This is part three.